Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Raven and today I will be playing The Sims 4. Since this is my first video on this channel, I want to clear some things up about what this channel is. This is not a Sims channel, nor is it exclusively a gaming channel. This is a place for creativity and expression, whatever form that may take. Right now there is going to be a lot of Sims, yes, and in the future there will be other games, cosplay videos, music, and possibly even art. I want this to be a place for everyone to be able to find something they like, even if it's just one video. So let's get into the first video. This series is The Sims version of a work in progress, unpublic fanfiction I've been writing. I will admit it's a pretty niche thing. This is set in an alternate Harry Potter universe where at 14, most half-bloods and purebloods and a few muggle-born come into creature inheritance. Then, usually between 16 and 18, they receive a magical inheritance of power and a secondary gender, which would be Alpha, Omega, or Beta. This happens to some Muggle-born because there is a dormant magic in their family line. Other Muggle-born are gifted by magic by Lady Magic and thus only receive a power boost at the time of their magical inheritance. Now note, some wizards do come into one or both inheritance early. This will be important for the story later. Because I could not find a good mod or an option in cast to select both get pregnant and impregnate, this is not completely accurate to ABO dynamics. The way to tell for men, alphas impregnate, omegas get pregnant, and betas don't do either. All the ladies currently can get pregnant though. I may change this in MCM command later, but for the moment this is the way it will be. Now that that is out of the way, let's move on to the characters. Alright, so first we have Harry. should note that, yes, he is wearing Slytherin robes because this is not completely canon. For sorting, when they're first years, it's normal sorting. They are put into the house that fits best for them at that time. When they are 14 and come into their magical inheritance, they are allowed to pick which house best huh. suits them. Gryffindors are fire and light creatures primarily. Hufflepuff are earth and light. Ravenclaw are air and darkness. And Slytherin are water and darkness. Now, of course, there are some creatures that fall out of these lines, but for the most part, people tend to choose the house that best fits their creature. So Harry is in Slytherin because he is a water dragon. Well, he's not completely light, he's not dark either. He's gray. But because Slytherin is water, and because Gryffindor gave him the confidence he needed to, he chose Slytherin. <sighs> Next, we have Hermione, who is still a Gryffindor. Hmm. She is a demigod of Loki, sort of. It's very very minor several generations back in her family someone had a kid with loki and now you have hermione yes she may spontaneously light things on fire that will need to happen at some point huh. next we have luna she is a demi guys of course she fit rather well in ravenclaw still she is still ravenclaw their traits are Luna, she is painter, calm, and a daydreamer. Hermione is a renaissance sim, she's a genius, and a bookworm. Harry wants a big happy family, he's a sporty and a natural cook. <laughs> Barner's a torque. Arthur has European Dragon Inheritance. Yeah. We have Molly. Molly does not have any creature inheritance. There is Percy, who does not have a creature inheritance. We have Fred. And George. <laughs> They are both cook dragons. We have Ron, who has Wyvern inheritance. And then Ginny, who has Amphit 
here inheritance. I probably pronounced that wrong. We're gonna roll with it. And then, of course, Charlie! Let's fix that. Charlie? We have Charlie, who oh. has European dragon inheritance, which fits him because he's a dragon trainer. And the trait, Charlie is a natural angler because that is the closest thing I could get to dragons. He loves the outdoors, he is self-assured, and he is active. Ginny is a bodybuilder, she is good, and she is active. Ron is friend of the world. He's sporty and uncreative. We have Chief of Mischief number one, who is naturally funny and mischievous. <laughs> and then Chief of Mischief number two, who is a kleptomaniac and mischievous. And Percy, who wants to be fabulously wealthy, he is stoic. Perfectionist and ambitious. Hmm. Molly wants a big happy family. She is a foodie, neat, and perky. And Arthur also wants a big happy family. He is cheerful, handy, and family oriented. Next we have Remus, who is of course a werewolf. And then our favorite, Sirius Black, who is a grim. Sirius is another chief of mischief. He is self assured, goofy, and good. Remus is a nerd. He's creative, a bookworm, and a loner. Next, Bob and we F? have the Malfoys. We have Draco, who is a Marmonil. Probably pronounced that wrong too. It's basically a mermaid. We have Narcissa, who does not have any creature inheritance. And then Lucius, who is a Vila. Mad wings. Don't know. Lucius wants a successful lineage. He is a snot up, introvert, and materialistic. Narcissa wants a successful lineage. She is calm, a perfectionist, and materialistic. Draco also wants a successful lineage. He is also a perfectionist and materialistic. You tell that the family affects each other very strongly. And finally, we have Severus, favorite uh. oceans teacher. He is a vampire. Or will be a vampire. Is a renaissance sin. Bookworm. Does not like children. He is neat. Alright, now well let's get into the gameplay. Here we go. So, Harry, Hermione, and Luna all live in a house, an apartment together, a court house, you could call it a house. The roof is glass, so that's why it's not waiting on. We start at the ground floor. This is in the third class. We have the living room, which there's totally a bunny on the fireplace. That was probably Luna. The back room. That there's apparently not a door to. Must have forgotten. What's that a door? I actually use that bathroom. Something simple. There we go. Back here. We have a little dining room and a large kitchen. That was Harry's idea. He likes to think he needs somewhere for his family. He needs somewhere fun and he can have his space. 
We have Hermione's room, which is basically a massive library. There's a few plants scattered around, and then she has a bed and table in the corner. We go up in another closet. We have Harry's room. He doesn't really like it, but it's, it's a little too much for him, but he deals with it. Lots of empty space that needs to get filled up. And then we have Luna's room, which also has a lot of empty space, but it's a little more fitting for her. She's got a telescope for stargazing, and it's all pretty pink themed. I don't know why I chose pink, that's just what felt like Luna to me in the moment. Bunny's in the back room, a simple back room. Alright, so where is it? Where is it? Minnie's king. Minnie is doing okay. What is wrong with Luna? Oh. Uh, hormones. This, I have the Slice of Life mod on my game. So that's going to happen a lot. They're going to have hormones. Let us have Harry travel. I'm not going to travel with anyone. Yeah, he's happy! This nicely decorated home. to Grimmauld Place. I don't know what the Landgraf with Nancy Landgraf and Johnny Dust is doing here. I guess I don't care about them. There it is. Check that out for a second. Let's go knock on the door. Let's hope someone's awake. We all look our favorite verbal and we're Here we go. We have the kitchen. And then here's the dining room and entry hall. It's all rather small, but that's nice. It's good for rooms and series. Got bathroom, living room, bedroom. More bedrooms and bathrooms. Sirius is playing a guitar. Let's go here. I could change their relationships in NC Command, but I don't really feel like doing that. So we're going to do this the hard way, which is you everyone introduced to them, and that is why we must listen to the games. Nice. Harry, and his lovely slither in robes. Bag bag! Sirius has weird things. Ah, so so! Can't explain this. <laughs> this is just Serious. Ah. It is really not story serious. Someone Remus needs to help Sirius <laughs> clean his bedroom up. Right. Yeah, then everyone. Why are you embarrassed? <laughs> so, so. Okay, you're you're better. Ah, you nabby. Brightness is very. Brighten Remus's. We what all know Remus needs to help us stay bright. Uh -huh. Let's see. Charisma yeah. skill team. Sure, the blue. Uh, 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 u
It's the one thing I, yes. I don't like to complain about, actually. But I don't use it. So, that's no reason to complain. Ooh, hey, rainbow. T-ball. Harry, you're not old and enough here. yet. You're not gonna go there. Don't think that's a pop weird spot to pop with her. Serious, mate. Yeah. My parents mean the dirt. I'm not complaining about the dirt. It's not not Lily and James. Uh, Lily and James are the yep, corpse of Lily and James. Let's see. Okay. They're very good. I think Remus has a name, and that's part of them. Well, that's what happens when you have the slice of life mod. Interests. Alright. We must Freak, talk to your cat, son of a He's gonna, it's gonna keep coming up. Someone's <laughs> gonna be an interesting conversation. <laughs> no, I will not be saying what gender anyone is yet. Their secondary gender is. That will come later, and so I'll find out at another time. Why ruin the fun by spoiling it all? So, this is funny that, that Harry is asking about this. Because he's not the, the same. And, of course, we just got to get it on the top as well. Oh, shut the clock. Sirius can't do it on his own. Harry's talking about being the world. Blah, 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 blah. You try, you should try the <laughs> guitar. See if he's got serious as natural talent. Huh? <laughs> Harry is totally the combination of the Marauders and Lily. Maybe a little Peter or not. Steve, Steve, kind of Mervyn Agouche. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter stories. Yala? So, if you're not familiar with Harry Potter, don't watch this. <laughs> Let's see how he does. He has acquired the guitar skill. Learning right skills. Alright. We need something to happen. Let's travel. You okay? Musical insecurity. Aww. Yeah. I think it's time for you to go. Now you have a relationship with your godfathers who everyone has acne. Oh well, that's an adventure. Let us travel! And Sirius is late. Why is here? Sirius never leaves the house. What is he get? Oh, hey, he's going on a jog. That's, that's great. I'm just gonna put that house up. Because we're not going there. Wait to see who that is. Oh, Sirius. I think it's hilarious. He's just going on a job. Sirius would not. Hey, look who it is. It's Molly out for a walk. Might be a great time to go over to the Weasleys if Harry would let go of the. Oh, no, that's not Jenny Harris, the one she would have. Yeah, Harry would just like stop playing the guitar. Alright, Harry, you are done. You're bad at music. Get up. Now we want to travel. Let us go over to the Kings, please. If we know Molly's not there, because we just saw her. 
this is perfect opportunity for some story without Molly around. And here we are, we are out with the Weasleys, who have not actually been in my house yet. This is all fairly recently built. We need you at a friendly introduction with Carrie, where are you going? I'm not sure what Harry was doing. Let's see, how is Lena is embarrassed, but that's okay. Hey. 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 Don't hey. give up families hugging. That's so wholesome. You need to introduce yourself to the twins. Because that is the important stuff. I need to check and see if they do they don't have a Wait, why is uh is George people to be get me too? Those two aren't even paying attention. George is just trying to keep Broadway from Harry, which is a good thing in this case. And yes, I had to see which one it was. I can't even tell them apart, even when they're working. I've gotten in like two. Nope, nope. They're the twins. No one can ever tell them apart. That's just the way it is. Alright, who are you? Katrina, whoever. Stop running around, we're everywhere. Weasleys aren't even near serious and right. now we are going <laughs> Now we are going inside. Got the burrow Family room, kitchen and dining room, living room. I did get some of these builds from the gallery. I can try to find which ones they were. Please tell me George is making food for everyone and that Harry can have some of his staff. Let's continue looking at them. Jenny and Charlie are having a conversation. Charlie's the best brother. Well, second best brother. Charlie's the second best brother. There's a best brother, but he's not around. That's a story for him. Get all the rooms. Plenty of bedrooms. Some bathrooms to it. George, George is, George, George is right. George is not finished with me. Ron, why Ron? Why are you going to show her a funny video? Tell me. You say there is a cultural survey. Spanking and George. Uh, yep, told it. That's going to happen a lot. I call them by the wrong name. Oh. So, can eat this? I am going to eat this, because George isn't. So we're just gonna go for it. And I have lost Harry. Harry, go upstairs. Harry, go upstairs. Harry would have gone away. Percy, there's Percy. Hi, Percy. There's Snot, the brat. Currently. That's a story for another time, too. Yay! George made food that Harry is now eating. That is the best. Oh, my chairs are all mismatched. That's adorable. I stole George's food, though. Oh, Well, Harry needs to be crushed, but I bet you're better. 
Also important. Oh, turned a bit of bad. Need those dark circles to go away. <laughs> I how oh that must have been like I'm gonna start being with glasses. I love how that's a play for that's a play for. Moodlet, that's what it is. These are moodlets. Right, so what do you think? 
Poor Luna. Alright, Luna is going to the store. Face treatments. Every day. Oh, Oh, Shuna. Or something like that. I'm not really sure what it is. It's one of those. We're just gonna walk in and get Wait, we should get one of them. Hi, Lee! Oh. Let's see what Hermione needs. Let's see what Hermione needs. There's anywhere to sit except that, you know, whatever. And lots of bookcases there, which would make Hermione happy if you have all the books in the world. What is she reading? She is reading Orbital Heading, which is something that I think is your and good omen would read, not Hermione. Month. You are gonna have a meal, microwave dinner, because Hermione would appreciate the muggle foods and the microwave meals. Alright, we are in Sleepy Harry. Well, that's a good place to stop for this episode. We introduced everyone and we visited some people in the south. Relationships, which is a lot of what this is going to be for the first few episodes. Because I want to do things the hard way instead of the easy way. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have any more suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. Until the next video, Raven out.